as the radiant sun ascends gracefully from the eastern horizon. It ushers in a sacred dawn over the hallowed landscapes of Bihar. Step into a realm where the winds carry tales woven by the hands of time and the echoes of ancient enlightenment reverberate through the ages. Welcome to the Echoes of Enlightenment, Bihar's timeless tie to Buddha. Buddham saranam gachami The profound connection between Bihar and Buddha goes beyond mere historical documentation. It's a living, breathing bond. It serves as a poignant reminder that in this timeless realm, the pursuit of enlightenment transcends epochs, etching an enduring impression on the very essence of Bihar. In the heart of Bodh Gaya Bihar stands a living testament to the transformative moment that gave birth to Buddhism. The sacred Bodhi tree, often cited as the direct descendant of the original 2600 years old tree. The Bodhi tree is currently 145 years old and 40 feet tall. Scientifically known as Ficus religiosa, Bodhi tree became the focal point of the spiritual transformation. DNA and the tree, just like you and me, we carry our father, our great-grandfather, great-great-great-great-grandfather, right? So same thing with the Bodhi tree. You have the DNA from the Buddha time to here. So not only the tree, but the leaf, everything. You, you understand the essence of the DNA is still there. It's just that we don't see it. That's what's so special about it. The venerable Bodhi tree, a steadfast witness to myriad adversities spanning epochs, has resiliently withstood the ravages of wars and natural calamities. Since 2007, the esteemed guardianship of the Bodhi tree has been entrusted to the Forest Research Institute of India. In its noble endeavor to preserve this sacred arboreal sanctum, the institute employs a meticulous fusion of scientific methodologies, utilizing metallic props and pillars, which are donated by the dynasties of different countries and the head of state. Additionally, the institute addresses injuries inflicted upon the holy Bodhi tree, stemming from the insidious rot of bark. These wounds find solace in the application of a venerable brown-hued chobatya paste, a remedy akin to a healing touch safeguarding the sanctity of this revered natural heritage. The hallowed periphery of the tree is encircled by a resplendent stone enclosure, renowned as the Ashoka Wall, bedecked with stone slabs that bestow upon it an exquisite elegance. An intricately inscribed stone pillar, mirroring the profound tenets of Buddhism akin to the temple's stone railings, graces the sacred Bodhi tree. Beyond the mere silhouette of the tree lies a realm of profound symbolism woven into the very fabric 
of its leaves. Pilgrims to Bodh Gaya, steeped in Buddhist reverence, seek to procure a leaf as both a cherished memento and a vessel for divine blessings. This tree uh, leaf indicates the heart shape, you know heart shape. So heart also in our heart make any you know, impurity thoughts and it will throw out and good getting good thoughts. So it will purify. And also you, you put uh, this leaf uh, house, so it will give the positive vibrations, energies. So that is protect your family and your life. Here, under the majestic aura of the tree, the spirit of Gautam Buddha dawdles, a guiding presence that has drawn pilgrims for millennia. The gentle hum of the mantras and the rhythmic flow of the collective breaths create a harmonious symphony beneath the sacred branches. In these moments of quiet reflection, the teachings of Buddha resonate. The air is charged with a profound stillness, inviting each meditator to delve deeper into their own consciousness. So sitting under the Bodhi tree, I can connect to Buddha and his journey um, and his life. They're seeking for Nirvana, for enlightenment, the freedom of suffering. It's very sensible here. So for me, it's a very deep, inspiring experience. Devotees, in a ritual of reverence, delicately present offerings of water, milk and honey to the sacred Bodhi tree, employing a glass layer aboned with small apertures encircled by the venerable stone pillars that stand sentinel around the revered arboreal guardian. The revered holy Bodhi tree commands profound veneration from Buddhists worldwide, cherished for its embodiment of devotion and reverence. The bestowal of holy Bodhi tree saplings transcends mere botanical transactions. It unfolds a symbolic gesture of goodwill and diplomatic amity, fostering a connection rooted in shared spiritual values and universal kinship. Beneath the expansive sky, distant from the clamor of the world, unfolds the quest for nirvana, a celestial liberation that summons the soul towards enlightenment. Pilgrims, aflame with devotion, embark on journeys, tracing the enlightened one's footsteps. This pilgrimage metamorphoses into a metaphorical odyssey, a sacred sojourn towards inner tranquility and ultimately emancipation. Amidst the hush of meditation, seekers grapple with the illusions woven by the material realm. Beneath the sacred bows of the holy tree, devotees embark on a profound voyage of self-discovery, a liberation from the layers that confine the spirit. Nirvana, akin to a lotus emerging gracefully from the mud, signifies the unfolding of the soul beyond the shackles of suffering. In the fertile grounds of Bihar, the lotus of enlightenment takes root, and the collective yearning for Nirvana becomes a shared aspiration among seekers. Paranirvana, which means he was able to step out of the cycle of reincarnation, of birth and rebirth, and he reached the absolute freedom, freedom from suffering and freedom from death. The countenances of the monks mirror profound gratitude, donned in saffron robes that epitomize the principles of detachment and humility. 
भिक्षा दान ट्रांसफॉर्म्स इन टू स्पिरिचुअल नरिशमेंट ट्रांसेंडिंग द रेल ऑफ मेयर फिजिकल सस्टेनेंस एज द सेरिमोनियल राइट अनफर्ल एन एटमोस्फेयर ऑफ एंटिसिपेशन वेट्स हैविंग रिसीव देयर आर्म्स द मॉन्ग्स रेडी दैन सेल्स फॉर वर्षा वास एन एपॉक ऑफ प्रोफाउंड मेडिटेशन एंड सेक्लूजन द बोधि ट्री a silent custodian of spiritual awakening has borne witness to innumerable such rituals beneath its time honored branches in bodh gaya seekers from across the globe converge to partake in the profound discipline of meditation here within the expansive shade diverse meditation styles intertwine crafting a mosaic of inner exploration and tranquility the atmosphere resonates with sacred sounds as devotees immerse themselves in chanting and mantra meditation vibrations cascade through the roots weaving an ethereal symphony that deepens the spiritual communion with the bodhi tree beneath the bodhi tree an amalgamation of diverse meditation styles converges each offering a distinctive route to self discovery and inner serenity within the temple the walls bear intricate engravings of diverse buddhist scriptures and philosophies vividly depicting the teachings of buddha the life cycle of buddha from birth to enlightenment and his various meditative pursuits are exquisitely sculpted across a 250 foot long series of stone panels a testament to artistry and spiritual narrative a second stone panel comprising 24 intricately carved segments narrates the jatak stories depicting the various births of buddha anchored in the three pillars of sila mortality samadhi concentration and prajna wisdom these teachings beckon seekers to a transformative journey of spiritual exploration The Vajrasana, known as the Diamond Throne, is believed to have been commissioned by Emperor Ashoka between 250 to 233 BCE, serving as a commemorative monument at the sacred site where Buddha achieved enlightenment beneath the Bodhi tree. This ancient stone slab rests beneath the Bodhi tree, positioned in close proximity to the mahabodhi temple encapsulating the hallowed ground where the profound transformation unfolded the vajrasana unfolds its sacred embrace once daily inviting devotees to partake in rituals where offerings of flowers water honey and milk become gestures of profound devotion and unwavering faith Legend weaves a narrative that post his enlightenment beneath the Bodhi tree the Buddha treaded in a clockwise course imprinting the ground with sacred symbols nestled beneath the Bodhi tree near the Vajrasana the Buddha footprints or Buddha pada manifest in two expansive hemispherical black stones adorned with intricately carved impressions of the buddha's feet kachami dhammam saranam kachami sangam saranam kachami kachami 
venturing past the Bodhi tree unveils the rich tableau of surroundings that bore witness to the life and teachings of Buddha. Cradled within nature's embrace, the Dungeshwari Caves, about 20 kilometers from the temple, crown the summit of Dungeshwari Hill, where Siddharth Gautam embarked on a profound phase of self-mortification and wrote to enlightenment. It is said that before Buddha went to Bodhgaya, where he ultimately got enlightened under the Bodhi tree, he spent six years inside the cave meditating. This made him extremely weak due to the lack of food. Thus, this state has been depicted in skin and bone state. In the cave, one will also find two Hindu deity, one that of Dungeshwari due to which it gets its name and next to it Mahakala. One thing interesting about Mahakala is that it's common in Hinduism as well as Buddhism. The small cave has an oil lamp burning in front of the Buddha statue. Thus, there is an unusual warmth inside the cave. Just next to the cave, around the corner, there is a small stupa, built much later for the devotees who came here for the prayers. A mere 22 km distant from the Dungeshwari Caves unfolds the serene expanse of Sujata's stupa. This tranquil sanctuary pays homage to the benevolence of Sujata, a village maiden who bestowed upon Siddharth Gautam a bowl of rice pudding. This stupa holds profound religious significance as the offering is believed to have preserved the life of Lord Buddha. Legend reverberates with the notion that rice pudding, that is kheer, constituted the initial substance Gautam Buddha partook of after renouncing worldly comforts in pursuit of enlightenment. From every corner of the globe, pilgrims and monks converge upon these caves, drawn by the ascetic practices that intricately paved the path to enlightenment. In a testament to the global reach of Buddhism, Bihar is adorned with Japanese Buddhist monasteries within the realm of Bodh Gaya. Intricately designed, these monasteries stand as a cultural bridge between Japan and India. Amidst serene surroundings, a marvel unfolds, the reclining Buddha. This monumental embodiment of the tranquility rests gracefully symbolizing the serene transition from earthly existence to nirvana. Measuring 80 feet in length and 30 feet in height, the reclining Buddha's feet bear intricate engravings of Buddhist scriptures. The idol cast in Mahaparinirvana Mudra holds immense significance in Buddhism as it mirrors the posture in which Lord Buddha preached to his disciples before attaining Mahapari Nirvana. Perched on the Gaya Sisha Hill, also known as Brahma Yoni Hill, the Brahma Yoni Stupa, around 15 kilometers from the Mahabodhi Temple, stands as a symbol of purity and enlightenment. Towering against the sky, the stupa exudes a tranquil energy that gracefully permeates the surroundings, extending an invitation to all to partake in the serenity it graciously offers. Beyond these sacred grounds, diverse monasteries and temples dedicated to Buddha await embraced by monks and travelers alike 
from every corner of the globe. In the heart of Bihar, beneath the venerable Bodhi tree, a global pilgrimage unfolds. Bodh Gaya, where the echoes of enlightenment resound, has transformed into a haven for seekers worldwide. It's not just a visit, it's inhaling the air once breathed by Buddha, stepping onto the holy soil he once walked. In Bodh Gaya, solace is found in the teachings of Siddhartha Gautam, the Buddha who attained enlightenment here over two millennia ago. If I come back next lifetime, I'm a king. It doesn't matter. The only difference is I have a crown, I have money, everything, but I still die. I still have to go through suffering. I still... So if you think on a big grand scheme of things, everything is impermanent. In the quietude of Bodh Gaya, under the watchful gaze of Bodhi tree, the world discovers a century for self-discovery. May the spirit of enlightenment continue to draw souls from every corner weaving a mosaic of shared wisdom that transcends time and borders.